hey what's up guys welcome back you're watching for tech so our channel offers the one-stop solution to upgrade your gpu drives for all snapdragon devices all the video links are given under the video description like here our poke x2 few days back we upgraded its gpu for both the OpenGL and hook and graphics api drivers but the main question arises which driver cpi is best if you just search this query on the Google, you will get the answer that is the Hulkan Graphics API is intended to offer the higher performance and more efficient CPU and the GPU than the older OpenGL Graphics API. But by default, Android uses the OpenGL Graphics as a default driver to render user interface applications and everywhere in the system. So today we will show you how you can enable the Hulkan graphics as the default drivers for all your applications, UI graphics and especially for gaming. There are some applications like GFX tool is available which will do this activity but it will not work 100% everywhere in the operating system. We will also confirm does this mod really working using some terminal checks. So now with the first thing and time let's get started. New adventure. Before start, please check some requirement. Your device must be rooted with the Magix or the Kernel Zoo. You have to download and install the app called as the Termux, that is the Terminal Emulator application from the Play Store. Its link is available under the video description. First, we will check which default API your operating system is using. Assume that your phone is rooted. Now open the Termux application here, type Zoo and enter give the root permission to the application if it asks now copy and paste this command in the terminal emulator i have given this command at the video description and hit enter on your keyboard now in the terminal you will get this information with the name adorno gles means your device is using the opengl as the default api so we have to convert this into the Hulkan graphics api for this you have to download these two root modules one is to enable the Vulkan API and another one is to disable the Vulkan API. If you later want to disable this API, you can use the disable Vulkan API module. Now we will flash the enable Vulkan API using the Magix. You can also flash this using the kernel su manager. Now we will flash the enable Vulkan API using the Magix. You can also flash this module using the kernel su manager. Once done, reboot your device. Once your device boots back, open the terminal emulator application and paste or type the same command that you used at the start of the video. Now if you check the log in the terminal application, it will show you the default GPU graphics version as the Adorno Hulkan slash zero. So we successfully enabled the Hulkan graphics API as the default API for the phone user interface applications and especially for the gaming. I tried the BGMA after enabling this API and the game performance significantly improved. If you want to check the app specific graphics API version used by the applications, there is a different command available. You can copy that and paste here again and you will get the log as the Adrono Hulkan graphics API with the application and its name in front of this. If you want to check which default UI graphics API his device is using, you can type or paste this new command in the terminal and it will show you this as a Vulkan. As per my users, I really failed the significant improvement in the user interface, apps and the gaming performance. But still, if you face any other issues, you can easily disable this module. For that, first open the Magix or the Kernel Store Manager application. First disable the Hulkan Enable module in the application. Next flash the Disable Hulkan module. Now reboot your device. Now to check your device is properly using the OpenGL drivers or not, you have to type the same command in the terminal that you shown at the start of the video. Or you can also copy paste the same command from the video description. This method is foolproof working solution. If you want to use the Hulkan graphics as the default API for the gaming and the device graphics users, use our latest graphics module and enable the Hulkan as the default API and feel the new level of performance transformation of your device. So that's it for today guys. Hope you liked my work. Then please do like and share this video, subscribe our channel, press the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming content. 
Thanks for watching. Soon as time. Take care. Bye bye.